if we talk about the medical field and the idea of using machine learning or whatever better term we may have for it, as well as uh, uh, big data when it comes to patient data and um, learning an algorithm of questions that could be answered by a potential patient, the idea of incredibly accurate diagnosis often comes up in lots of literature as a, as a use for this type of technology and that it would take out the emotion that that is there to some degree in a so-called real doctor and that there's other benefits in the field of medicine specifically. Is that interesting to you? Is it likely or is there something big that's missing from those uh, uh, hypotheses that actually makes that not a very likely uh, uh, outcome in the next five to 10 years with the, with such technology? I think this is a great example of how powerful and beneficial computers can be along two dimensions. First of all, we can get much better diagnoses, as you suggested, based on more data and more analyses. And secondly, we can also make it much more widely available. There are so many uh, rural areas, uh, remote countries and regions where uh, the kind of medicine that we're used to is just not available. Uh, and it's it's expensive to do it with humans. So if we can build programs accessible over the internet that can help, that's uh, fantastic. Now, I, I think that the best use of this, certainly in the foreseeable future, isn't just the computer uh, taking over completely, but my favorite definition of AI is not artificial intelligence, it's augmented intelligence. So imagine that you have a doctor with their experience, with their empathy, being aided with this uh, indefatigable assistant that reads all the millions, literally millions of papers uh, coming out, that's gathering all these statistics, and that's making recommendations to the doctor. Would you rather have your human doctor or your human doctor with this incredible tool at their disposal? It's a no-brainer. It is, I guess, to play devil's advocate, the trend of doctors sitting there looking at a screen rather than the patient is already pretty bad. And and if the logistics of having the AI help have them more sucked into the computer screen, maybe the experience won't be better, but maybe the outcome would. I don't know. Well, again, wonderful point. But I would say this, A, ultimately, we do care more about the outcome particularly when it comes to critical things. But two, the reason that they're on the computer so much is because they have all this paperwork to fill out. Yes. Okay, this is not a product of AI. Now, AI systems are coming out right now uh, that actually help to automatically fill out the paperwork. So I think in the very near future, we'll have the computer less, uh, sorry, we'll have the doctor, uh, interesting slip there, we'll have the doctor <laughs> less on their computer doing that and more able to engage with the, with the patient. I think I think that would be that would be a good thing.